Welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat. And today, we're going to be trying out the Electro Dragon inside of another common deck inside of Clash Royale, where today, we're going to be playing the Electro Dragon combined together with a Minor Balloon Cycle deck that's actually worked really well so far. Now, this deck is a true staple of the meta. If you guys have ever played Minor Balloon Cycle, it's so much fun to throw down. And with double dragons inside of this deck, you have some pretty dastardly defensive combos. And guys, we're bringing out the dictionary today for those words. Go ahead and look it up. Let's go and get into some battles right now now currently inside of this challenge we're sitting three and one sitting pretty right now but i do want to give this deck a go and obviously our main attacking force is going to be the balloon plus the miner once we get that one balloon hit it's really all we need to start cycling them down with miners repeatedly let's go and try it out right now against lord gustavo and really see if we can make this work the electro dragon so ridiculously strong i i think it's a really fun card to play and when you play it correctly you can get some ridiculous combinations obviously as it stands right now our starting hand is complete garbage, and we can't actually really do much. I think if I was going to do anything, I would cycle a Zab, so let's go ahead and just cycle that right now. See what Lord Gustavo is going to end up doing. He's going to cycle a Zap as well, and there's not really a card I want to play, guys. Now, normally, I wouldn't really want to do much, but this is... This is all we got right now. Okay, finally he's going to end up playing his minions. So we can use our Electro Dragon in the very back to start this battle off. Zap plus minions could be a giant deck. Could be a whole lot of stuff. It's actually going to be a Lava Hound coming out right now. Very interesting. And since this is all rolling on in, I'm going to just go crazy aggressive, which feels like a big old fail. Here it goes, though. Balloons going in. Everything's going in. The Lava Hound's going down. Balloons going down. But the Electro Dragon's going to go ahead and get some nice value off right there. Here goes the Inferno Dragon turning this thing around. The Balloon did get a hit onto the tower. And this should be really nice for us to be able to stop this push. The Inferno Dragon still putting in a little bit more work. The Fireball going down right here. Please keep the Inferno Dragon alive. It does so much value. And we even... Oh, that is beautiful. We don't even have to play our zap right there. We completely dominate that trade, and somehow, some way, that completely messed up push ends up working in our favor. Now, still, we're only a couple hundred HP up, so gotta be a little bit cautious with how we throw down right now. I'm still feeling fine. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get our ice golem ready in the very back, and I'll let this start walking forward. We can get a pretty awesome combo ready in just a moment. I'm gonna opt to use my electro dragon now. Tombstone versus tombstone is something that you guys might expect, and at this point, Sort of curious how else we want to really try to break through right here. He's going to drop a Valkyrie down. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play our Miner in a position where the Valkyrie is not going to get affected. And the Miner can go ahead and start putting some work. Electro Dragon going in. He's got his minion going down. I'm going to go ahead and play my Tombstone to be ready for his push. I've got my Inferno Dragon ready in a moment. Not really too much else to get done here. I'm going to let that Tombstone go ahead and die. Inferno Dragon going down the lane should be okay for us. And guys, realize how much damage we actually ended up getting done right there uh, with our Miner. So that's going to be beautiful. Electro Dragon going in. So much going in right now. This should be able to stop this push pretty well. The Fireball is going to come out, but that shouldn't be enough to take care of everything. I'm going to opt to zap right here, give myself a little bit of time. Fireball going down for the balloon. That should be able to stop it in its tracks. And now with 30 seconds left, all we have to do is defend. And this should be an easy peasy dub. The minions going in. The, the mega minion got completely destroyed right there. I'm going to play our ice golem. I'm going to play our electro dragon. Here goes the inferno dragon as well to make sure this balloon gets no leeway towards that tower, guys. One final miner over the top just to make sure we have that zap still in cycle. And that's going to be GG well played against Lava Loon for a super simple victory. You guys saw how that deck went down. The double dragon combination proving to be so strong defensively. Even when I gave him fireball value, we're able to still pick it up right there. One crown to zero for that victory. And that's going to be four and one inside of a challenge. That one felt good. Using this deck sometimes feels pretty excellent. And being able to get that one balloon connection onto the tower, then just keep cycling miners and ship that tower down was basically what I said from moment one. And then just being able to effectively defend against Lava Loon was obviously the biggest struggle, but we were still able to pull it out with ease after that one pretty crazy defense that we managed to pull off after we really went ham down the left-hand lane in single elixir. Anyways, let's go and get into battle number two right now. Let's see what else other decks we're going to go against. Obviously against Beatdown and a couple of other combos, the Electro Dragon's going to give you so much value, Chain Lightning, every everything together and uh, let's go ahead and try that out right now max c from game over is going to be our next opponent and i'm a little curious how we want to start this one off now if he plays something like a golem or a lava hound we can go for ice golem balloon and really apply some pressure right away i'm going to wait to see what he ends up doing guys we're going to wait till that 230 mark before we cycle an ice golem but yeah. hmm all right it's going to be a princess that'll be some fireball value for us so we're going to lose about one and a half elixir because we leaked a little bit waiting for that princess to come out if we're playing against bait i'm actually sort of interested to see how we do against bait i'm going to let that roll on down 
Still nothing coming out. He cycled a princess, and I don't really know what we're going to do right here. Finally, here comes a Goblin Gang. I'm going to use the Electro Dragon, which I probably should have just played an Ice Golem instead. Down this lane, we've got a Prince, so I'll go ahead and use my Tombstone right here, plus my Inferno Dragon to try to put in some work right here. The Inferno Dragon actually going to be able to do some work against this Prince. We've got double Dragons going down, but I don't really know if that's actually a good combination. I'm going to go ahead and use my Miner over here. Miner's going to go ahead and lock on the, uh, it looks like the Electro Dragon actually is going to lock onto this Rascal Girl. Beautifully done to kill that Rascal Girl. This other Rascal Girl going to do some damage, but guys, the Electro Dragon, Chain Lightning is putting in some work right here. And now we really just have to be a little bit worried on defense. All right, Zap going in. That should be fine. I have to play my Electro Dragon right here, actually, which will be okay. I'll eat that Rascal Boy damage down that lane. On the left-hand side, we've already done over 1,000 damage to the tower, and that should be great. He's even going to give us some value right here by playing his Goblin Gang. That's exactly what I wanted. Three Elixir to counter my Electro Dragon that was already basically, uh, you know, made its value by defending against his push. And at this point, let's just go ahead and get ready with our Tombstone. Oh, I want to go for an Ice Golem Balloon so bad, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let this roll through. Tombstone going to do its thing. Poison Spell going down. All right, guys. Well, he he tempted me, so I'm going to do it. Ice Golem Balloon's going in. He's got a Prince. That is a very, very expensive card to play against this Balloon right here. I'm going to opt to go ahead and drop our Miner. Then I'm going to go ahead and zap this. Uh, this is still going to be really tough for us. Tombstone going in. That should be pretty bad yeah we're gonna lose a lot right here we're gonna lose our entire tower guys the log did go down but i don't think there's any point in defending this i actually i should have defended that huh all right guys let's calm back down i inferno dragon in the back i could have def i could have thrown a fireball down and potentially done something right there but i don't know if that's really what we needed let's play our miner right now to get this one going Miner should be able to clean that up. I'm going to go and use our balloon right here. Is this guy playing Rocket or what is his card of choice? Fireball against these Rascal Girls right here to make sure that we just decimate his air defense. The balloon is getting awfully close to the tower and that's going to be hit number one going down. Electro Dragon plus a Zap right here actually will clean up that Goblin Barrel super effectively. The Prince not going to be able to be what he needs right here. Miner's going to go ahead and roll down over the top. The Inferno Dragon burning away on that tower, but a beautifully played Goblin Gang is going to stop this push for now. But still, I'm feeling really confident about where we stand. Let's actually go for an Ice Golem Balloon right here. Let's keep that pressure nice and applied. His Rascals have to come out at some point. He's going to actually end up playing them here, which is a certified savage decision. Fireball going down for the Prince, and that's going to be GG. Well played. All right, that one was a little crazy. But we still ended up pulling up a dub. I realized at a certain point that his only air defense against our balloon and was ended up being the Rascals with the Rascal Girls. And he is the princess, but once we were able to take those out, the Spear Goblins inside of a Goblin Gang, not really going to be what he needs to kill an Ice Golem plus our balloon, guys. That was some easy offense right there. And as long as we were able to defend and not make any crazy plays, which we did on that left-hand tower, don't get me wrong, that tower got burned down pretty quickly, we were still able to pick up a dud, and that's what this game's all about. All right, one more battle. Five and one inside of a grand challenge. These Electro Dragon decks, so ridiculously good, guys. Chief Cat does approve as she sleeps in her little cat bed next to us. Five and one, and uh, yeah, we're, we're making our way up there for Electro Dragons, and hopefully we can get it maxed out and be able to play it on the ladder soon. The current Electro Dragon that we have is, uh, safe to say, not quite strong enough to get our way there, but let's go and start this one off where we've got a Tombstone in our starting hand. Easy starting card to cycle. Now against certain decks where they have Elixir Collector or something else, it can get ugly. So I'm going to wait a couple of seconds. If he has an Elixir Collector, he's probably going to play it immediately. He's going to opt to play the Royal Ghost instead. Could be Bridge Spam, which can be a little bit tricky with our deck, uh, the P.E.K.K.A. Bridge Spam. But I'll go ahead and let this roll on in. And it looks like a Flying Machine is actually going to go down. So I'm going to leak about half an Elixir and just Fireball that. But it looks like we could be playing against this P.E.K.K.A. Zappies deck that uh, might give us a little bit of trouble. Let's see. He's got a couple of options. Hmm. I'm going to opt to... I don't really know what I'm doing right here. I'm going to play the Electro Dragon. That didn't feel good, though. I, I don't think that was the play for us. I, I couldn't play Miner. I couldn't really play Zap. Ooh, it's going to be a Barb Hut. Interesting. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and do our Miner. We're going to go ahead and throw down our Balloon. Let's see if we can get some value right here. Hopefully, oh, yes. I was hoping that was his air defense he had. Zap's going to be easy for us to kill. The Balloon is running towards that tower, guys. And without anything else to deal with right there... That's going to be a really, really nice little push for us. I'm going to play our Tombstone right here. We're going to take Tower number one, and the name of this game is going to be all about defense. Well, we have to play our Ice Golem as well to try to stop this Cannon Cart. That's going to really hurt. Well, I have to play this Miner too. Miner's going to go in. Cannon Cart did go down. All right. Well, we're going to end up losing tower number one, unfortunately. If we were able to defend right there, we would have been glorious. We took his tower, and I think our balloon turned around and attacked his barbarian hut somehow, which is actually pretty amazing. Uh, but still, 
Now we can use our Balloon offensively if he plays his Barbarian Hut in the very center and get some easy value against it. There goes the Barbarian Hut. I'm just going to go ahead and Balloon that down. That should get a hit plus a Death Explosion. And if he plays anything else, it's really not going to do too much for him. That's going to be a beautiful job right there. Five for seven Elixir Trade. And plus the King Tower is going to help out with his Barbarian. I'm going to opt to not play anything else right there. Two Barbarian hits for two Elixir. I guess I can take that trade. Let's go and get ready to cycle back to what we need. His bats are already going in. If he plays a really nice Magic Archer, maybe he could do something. But yeah, he's going to go for a Fly machine i'll fireball that down in a moment and it will be sitting pretty all right let's go ahead and go in i'm gonna go for a push right now where i need to get my miner back in cycle miner's gonna go ahead and go down against all of this fireball did go down really need to try to keep something alive right here zap's going in oh but the zap i was trying to keep that push alive definitely wasn't what we needed electro dragon going in wow a really nice bar barrel from him that was such a good bar barrel it ended up killing our tombstone getting the cannon card onto our tower but still we're able to hold on a little bit longer right here i don't know why i'm doing this inferno dragon but it feels good for some reason here goes the the miner against all of this the miner is going to go ahead and start trickling down onto these push all right well we ended up killing the magic archer and i still think that we can find a way to make this one work right here electro or ice okay Whew. electro dragon did go down and save that push and, and I think we just have to win this game. I feel like we just have to do it, guys. Let's use our Ice Golem nice and up front right here. I'm going to Fireball down this Flying Machine. The Flying Machine really being the most difficult card that we're dealing with today. And uh, since that Magic Archer is just doing its thing, I'm going to just play our Inferno Dragon. I'm going to play this one safe and try not to be a madman like I normally am with you guys. And then maybe we're going to be able to get something done. Let's see. I'll use my Miner over the top. Miner's going to go in. Balloon's going to go down shortly after. Should be able to put in some work right here. Balloon's going to go in. Zap's going to go down as well. That's an easy hit onto this Barbarian. Hut. I've got a Tombstone going down too. This Balloon. Going to get awfully close before we have to actually end up doing something right there. Fireball's going to go down in the Magic Archer. And we got to find a way to make this work. I feel like we can do this, but we have to really play uh super efficiently if we want to get this done all right ice golem going down right here i had a feeling he was going to play cannon card or something but he doesn't which means we have to play our inferno dragon right here how do we want to do this fireball is not going to do anything all right well he's going to go for the grand slam right now and i don't think that's a very wise decision i'm going to go ahead and zap right now i'm going to fireball this trying to keep my balloon alive right now the fireball is going down the king tower is the only thing hitting the balloon for the hit onto the tower GG, well played. That's what I'm talking about. And the moment he played those bats, that's when I knew we got that dub. GG against Siegs right here. The Barbarian Hut deck unable to cheese us. And that's what we need to steal win number three inside this challenge. All right, guys. Fun battles today using this deck. You can see why it is so effective with the Electro Dragon cleaning up so well. You want to make sure you keep track of your opponent's air defense cycle, whether it's just bats, whether it's flying machine. Each and every battle, you guys could see, I figured out what his, fly, what his air defense was. In that battle, it was Flying Machine, Magic Archer, plus Bats. I can zap the Bats as long as I keep it in hand. I can Fireball one of the Magic Archer and the Flying Machine. And then once I'm able to get past that Barbarian Hut, it's a straight shot to the tower from there. I didn't even play it perfectly. If I played it perfectly, I would have played the Miner a little bit earlier to tank for the Balloon. But still, ended up stealing some nice wins today. And give this deck a go if you haven't already for some pretty fun action inside of Clash Royale. Now, if you guys haven't subscribed already, make sure you're slapping that subscribe button right across the face. Turn it on that bell. And and making sure you're checking out each and every video I post about Clash Royale. That's going to do it for this one today. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.